If you're new to fishing and walk into a tackle shop, you will see hundreds of soft plastic lures, ranging in size, color, and profile. Today we'll be talking about many of the common categories of soft plastic lures and how they work. We'll look at paddle tails, grubs, craws, tubes, straight tail worms, curly tail worms, stick baits, ned rig baits, creature baits, soft plastic jerk baits, and toads. Before we get into the rest of the video, go ahead and subscribe because I upload a video just like this one every single week. We'll first look at soft plastic swim baits. These will have a bait fish profile and will have a paddle or a boot tail. This paddle or boot tail catches water that will cause the tail to swing back and forth just like a bait fish swimming. The bait will also have ridges that help rock the bait back and forth. Typically they'll come from 2 to 5 inches and are perfect for predatory fish just like a bass and pike. Because of their baitfish profile, they also make a great trailer for swim jigs as well as spinner baits. Next is a grub. These have curly tails that whip back and forth like a baitfish. They typically are 1 to 3 inches and are great for panfish, crappie, and small bass. Craws will come from 3 to 4 inches. Some will come with a hole so that you can either add scent or a rattle chamber to them. These baits are hopped or dragged to imitate crawfish. Some will come with cupped claws. These cups help grab water and flap to give off vibration. You can also swim them to imitate small toads and are primarily used for bass and big panfish. Tubes are another great way to imitate craws, especially for smallmouth bass. The bait has a hollow body with tentacles. They typically come from around 2 to 4 inches. By inserting a tube jig head, the bait will glide and spiral down. Straight worms, or finesse worms, typically come from 6 to 12 inches. They're flicked and shaked to give off an erratic action. These baits are also primarily dragged on the bottom in the summer for big bass, but they are also extremely versatile, so there's really no wrong way to present it. Curly tail, or ribbon tail worms, are pretty much the exact same thing as your straight tail worm, but they have a long, winding ribbon tail. This catches water and sends vibration for fish in cloudy water. Nedrig baits are going to be great for finesse situations and will usually be about 1 to 2 inches long. They are shaped to look like worms, craws, and insects that crawl on the bottom. Buoyant, floating plastics will work best in these situations because it'll keep the bait upright for bass, perch, panfish, and crappie. Stick baits are one of the most popular plastics for bass. They'll be about 4 to 6 inches long and are designed to be extremely versatile, but it's the weightless, iconic quiver that is iconic to this bait. They'll be the same shape and length as your regular worms, but they'll be a lot thicker and are primarily used for bass. Creature baits are big and bulky, and come in different styles, such as hogs or bugs. Both work great being dragged on the bottom to imitate a number of different creatures, the bug style typically have cupped flanges to add bulk and action to your bass jigs. Soft plastic jerk baits will have a thick wall while being a hollow belly that tapers down to a tail. 
As you flick and pop the lure, it will dart in all directions, imitating a dying or spawning bait fish. Soft plastic toads are also big and bulky. They pair great with a buzz bait because the size slows it down while you still get the buzz bait action. Toads will have cupped legs that will catch water and kick it up. They don't usually float, so you'll have to retrieve them fairly quickly. I hope this video helps, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Happy fishing.